For torque, we learned how to find the torque produced by a certain force. It is the force times the lever arm, where the lever arm is the distance between the line of force and the axis. Or we can use the perpendicular component of the force times the r. For example, I have a bar over here, and this force F is exerted on the bar at this location, at an angle theta. And we want to find the torque produced by the force relative to this uh, axis. To find the torque produced by this force, we can draw a line of force, that's this line over here, and uh, find the distance between this line of force and the axis. And that's the perpendicular distance, so we have to draw this perpendicular line right here. That's uh, the lever arm. So the lever arm is, a, a, is opposite to the angle for this right triangle, and the D is the hypotenuse. So if we want to find the opposite side, we just multiply it by the hypotenuse D by sine theta. So the lever arm is D sine theta. That means the torque produced by this force would be force F times the lever arm D sine theta. Or we can use the perpendicular component of the force times R. For this force, it has two components, one along the bar, the other one is perpendicular to the bar. And it is this one that's perpendicular to the bar is producing the torque. So we can use this times the R, which will be D. This component will be the same as this one, opposite to the angle, so that's F sine theta. So the perpendicular component is F sine theta, and the R is D. So the two methods give us the same thing. And this method can be useful. Sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out which one is the perpendicular component of the force. For example, I can have a wheel over here, and the axle is right there. The radius of the wheel is R, and uh, there's a string wrapped around this wheel, and uh, the tension pulls on it with force F at an angle theta to the horizontal. And we want to find the torque produced this force. In this case, we can use, uh, it can be convenient to use the force times the lever arm. The force, of course, is F, and the lever arm is the distance between the line of force and this axis, so it would be the, the perpendicular distance. Because the string gets pulled out of the wheel, that means that this line must be tangent to the circle, which is perpendicular to the radius. So the lever arm is R, which means it doesn't have anything to do with that angle. We don't need that angle at all, so the torque is F times R. By the way, the unit for torque is, since it's force times distance, it's newton times meter, which happens to be exactly the same as the unit for work, because work is a force times displacement. But we do not use joules for the unit of torque, because we reserve joules for work and energy, and torque is not work or energy. It's just, it just happens to have the same unit as the work and energy.